we are talking knee pain. And so if you're having any sort of pain on the outside or the inside of the leg, these exercises are for you to try at home to see if they can help that discomfort that you're feeling. So first things first, we are going to lengthen out the IT band and the adductors. So if you have one of these tools at home, you're more than welcome to use it. You can also use a rolling pin or a foam roller, which we'll show in just a minute. So side, um, going on the side, having your rolling pin, you're just gonna go up and down, probably about five or six times, depending on how your IT band feels, because sometimes when you get first get started, it can be pretty tender. So up to you on how many times you wanna roll on the outside, but I probably wouldn't go more than 12, just to make sure that you don't get any bruising or anything like that. Same thing on the inside. Just go up and down a few times just to have it activated and loosen at the same time. When using the foam roller, we're gonna come down to the floor. You're gonna sit on it to start with for the IT bend, and then one leg is gonna come in front here. Bottom leg is just gonna come out to the side, and then you're gonna roll up and down here. And again, don't overdo it. Just go up and down about six times just because we don't want any bruising, especially if you're doing this for the first time. Now for the inside of the leg, you're going to lay on your stomach, have this kind of in line with your torso because your bottom leg is going to come out to the side so that the inside of your leg is gonna come on top of it. And then from here, you can roll the inside of the leg just going back and forth as well. Now don't forget to you do both sides because we want to make sure that both sides are nice and loose. And then you're going to go into a little bit of activation to help strengthen these muscles if you need that. So taking your Pilates ball, you're going to put it between your legs here and you're literally just going to squeeze in for holding about 15 seconds, 15, 20 seconds at a time just to activate the adductors. So if you don't have a Pilates ball, you're more than welcome to just use your fists in between your legs and squeeze. Second exercise, you're gonna take a band and you're more than welcome to use one that isn't tied and just tie it at the end, or you can get these off of Amazon as well. So by placing it on your knees here, we're just gonna activate our glutes here just to help strengthen out so that we take a little bit of pressure off our knees when we're doing exercises. So we're gonna squat down just a teeny bit, lead with our knee, and then step back together. So lead with your knee, step back together. So I like to do this about 10 times one way and then 10 times the other way, about three times, just to get a really good burn in there. I like to also do it before I exercise or do any running or anything like that, just to make sure my glutes are nice and turned on to take pressure off my knees. So try these at home and then we'll show you what we're gonna do in office. Okay, in office, what we are going to do for adjusting purposes is we are going to adjust the knee. We can look at the hip as well if there's any sort of like internal external rotation happening that can um, put a little pressure on the knee or we can take a look at that ankle. So depending on what we feel in the office is what we're going to adjust. And so for Dr. Mariah here, I know that she has a little bit of hip issues and so mm -hmm. I'm gonna demonstrate a little bunny hop that we do in office. So I'm just gonna take a hold and then distract. And with that one, it gets a little bit of separation at that hip joint and at that knee joint. So it have, provides a little bit of lengthening and allow it to come back together so that it fits properly in that joint. We can also adjust the knee coming up. And if it's that fibula, that pesky bone on the side of our leg, then we can adjust it that way by squishing it and applying a little pressure that way. Or we can look at the ankle and adjust it this way here. So let us know what you need and if you have any questions just feel free to reach out.